Okay. I think I think that's uh, that's where it goes. Okay, can y'all see that? I think we're right on it. And and that plate in there on some of them, you you have to move it around to get it to center up on that little protrusion on the magneto housing. Uh, the two bolts goes in from the bottom, and remember when you're turning it, it goes the other way. And and I usually I usually uh, put the back one in. I usually put that back in there first, and and like I say, you you can do this with the flywheel on there. Uh, it's not necessary that you take the flywheel off, but but to use them these uh, tweezers to make it easy. You you can you can come right up in the inner And like I say, these bolts can be put in there um, with the flywheel on here. I guess I'm trying to do it backwards for the camera there so I don't block it out. But we got both of them in there, both of them in there. And and if you had, if you, and, and we will let let's put the let's put the uh, flywheel back on there and rotate it back and forth a little bit and make sure confirm that our marks are right. Okay. Let's uh, now. Now we we we. I've got it pretty finger tight, but we've not tightened it up. So let's just go through and 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 walk it through when it comes up on ignition on on the on the compression stroke, and that's coming up now. Ignition, and when it gets right there, so y'all can't see behind that spoke there at all. But when this is when this is lined up down here and down here and down here, and I can look at the end of that uh, armature shaft, and they're lined up, what I did in that turnaround there is uh, this igniter. Uh, I don't think was the one that was on this engine. I think this is a different igniter. Yeah, I'm positive on that. And 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 I did have to remove those three shims that was behind that slide upper thing right there. And the reasoning was when on on the on the outermost when when you rotate the flywheels, and I'll show you. When, when when you come all the way watching it right up yonder, when you come all the way back here like that right there on on your throw, cam throw back there, this gap right in here between the this slide upper thing and that tooth there, that when that's at rest, that's supposed to be uh, like three sixteenths. This one was uh, more than a quarter of an inch. So I did make that adjustment to set that right. And when I uh, come back and, well I've done moved that now, but it'll be, I'll show you something, it'll be 
right there. That's going to be where the flywheel would line up right here. You could take that to the bank. I would put a dollar on that. And to confirm it, oh, I wish you could see that. To confirm it, this mark, this mark, the mark in the casting underneath there, and the center line of the armature. All of those should be in alignment when, when you line these two down here up, that should uh, be in the center of this and also the hash mark in the casting, and it is. So we're good to go there. And it's just coming up on, that armature is going that way, and it's, it's right there just as it tripped is, oh, it's right on it. No problem we'll have, I don't think. And I do like to use a solid, I, I like to use a solid wire on that there igniter hookup. Uh, it's, 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 uh, you get it out, of, you get it, you get it up there out of your attic. It's that there, uh, that war that they, that they put in your house. You know, surely you've got an extra piece of it somewhere around there. But that makes a real nice, a real nice, oh, that's kind of pleasing. <laughs> you know, if you want to, you can wind up one of them uh, heartbeat things right there. You know, do it like that right there. Or you can wind it up on a pencil. You know, it's been done. So, you know, just hook it up there. Kind of pleasing to the eye. Uh, what else was it to be said about this uh, set all bolts tight? And and I I tell you I tell you something, I just you know let me tighten this up first. Okay, the uh, and this spring here that's not the spring that I will actually use on there. Uh, check check over everything. All oh, the bolts in the bottom down there. Uh, I didn't tighten them up. And you can do this. You, you can do this with the flywheels on here. This is just for ease. Uh, so you can see what I'm doing. For sure. And don't tighten them too tight now. Oh, it's a. And, and you can turn that. You can turn your flywheels when when you're when the flywheel is on there. You can turn it like that and get everything at its farthest distance away and, and, and just take short strokes on your wrench we'll rebuild one of these uh, L mags uh, you know after it get moved I will rebuild one of them. Now, 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 now that I brought that in to tighten everything, looking in yonder, uh, make sure everything is is seating good, and look down in behind it there. Make sure that the cover, that cover in yonder. If you look down in yonder, it should be centered up on that. Uh, oh, I see a little bit of that there, that that permatex oozed out of there. I'm gonna get that off there so it look good. That'll be all right. Now let's put that flywheel back on there. And, uh... That probably be the last time that flywheel's off of there. I think I can set that tight. And and it's in a, a video I've already done it if you want to see how I do that. Uh, just check the playlist. And and, and, and and we're watching for the snap off and the ignition timing coming around. Okay, it fired. This is in the correct position. The two marks lines up there. And... Um, you know, could be I could get the straight edge and put in yonder, but you know, I could see it here that it's everything is exactly the way it was, and um, the uh, 
magneto timing to the igniter is indicated by that marks lining up right there. So we, we're good to go. I'll set them tight and uh, now we'll do something else later.